I mean, so I think when we got into YC, we initially started working on, uh, hey, uh, you know, voice AI was something that my, my co-founder worked at Scale AI, uh, yeah. which is another YC company as well back in the past, but now they're pretty big. So right. he, he worked on like actual, like the the stuff to build it. That, that, that open AI used for training their LMs, the software that they use for all of their training stuff. So we had a lot of experience in this space. Uh, you know, I worked at Braze, which did cu customer communication. So it's a lot of like multi-channel communication. Um, so we had some idea and we saw that problem. We were like, let's just, we were just toying around with that. <clears throat> and then we just built something and then we put it out on Facebook groups and Reddit and some places. And it's like, we spent six months trying to make something that nobody cared about. And then we put this out and within a week, we had like 200 demos lined up and it's just that the magnitude, you know, we're like, oh my God, like this is what even an inkling of something that works feels like. And then we're like, all right, let's 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 walk into this, you know, let's explore this. Something similar to what I was telling you before is that my co-founder and I, Anthony, we, we all think like this way, that we're like experimental physicists in the sense right. that there are theoretical physicists who have a different approach to science. And then our approach is we play with, you know, whatever nature is, conduct our experiments, kind of like, figure out what we need to do and move in that direction, you know? So we started working with a bunch of companies at the beginning. Um, and then we quickly realized that, you know, you really need depth with AI yeah. applications. Like that's the difference between a demo and something that works really, really well to the point where the customer is like, all right, I don't want to talk to a human again, you know? Like mm -hmm. how do you make that experience, right? Right now people listen to a bar and they're like, oh my God, not again. Right. We envision a future where you're going to be like, oh, no, a human, you know, I want to talk to a bot. Okay. Uh, okay. How do you get there? It's all the details and nuances. So we work with a bunch of customers, you know, who are not in, in the automotive industry. They were in healthcare, in banking, and they had far more regulations than, you know, our procurement phase with the bank was longer than the time it took for us to even complete onboarding and do like a month of actual product in the automotive business. Um, so it's, there are a lot of like things about like different industries and, and, you know, we, as we worked with them, we found out that, you know, like, you know, of course there are some problems that need to be solved, but like, are they feasible? Like, is it, does the technology allow that? And can you, do you have that margin of error? You know, like mm. you mess up something on a healthcare, like, I mean, the probability of that blowing up is so much more, you know, than, uh, you know, you messing up something else in a different